Hello everybody, this is Lyrical here, and welcome to the very last day of Lyrical 7 Days of Halloween. Now honestly, I wasn't really sure what to do for the last day, so this may be a bit of a cop out, but I'm basically just gonna do, do like a Halloween quiz, maybe like a Halloween game of some sort, like at the end of it. I'm not really sure, but we're just gonna see where we're gonna go with this, so I'm sorry this one kind of doesn't have as much thought into it but like the reason that is is because I was originally gonna have the last day be on Halloween but because I started a day late that kind of didn't happen so I'm kind of obliged to do a video today so I just thought well I gotta give the viewers something so we're gonna do how much do you know about Halloween try our quiz the quiz <laughs> So, I probably don't know all that much about it, but we'll see, so... Alright, so where does the quiz start? Alright, uh, it's... Okay, it starts there, I guess. If you get 10 out of 10, treat yourself. Treat yourself! Alright then. Fair enough. I assume I've clicked on the right thing. But yeah, again, sorry this video is not half as exciting as the other ones. I just wasn't sure what to do for it, so... Uh... No, I don't want to enter my postcode. I just want to do this Halloween quiz on this spooky image here that I might save as the thumbnail, quite possibly. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's have that as a thumbnail. It's a good thumbnail. Alright. Eh. Okay. Lovely. Let's begin, shall we? Today is Halloween, or yesterday was Halloween even, the spookiest night of the year. October 31st is better known as Halloween, and every year we s we wear scary outfits, bob for apples, and carve pumpkins on Halloween. But why? Over time, Halloween has become more widely known for children donning costumes and masks to scare others witless and garner treats by knocking on their neighbours' doors. But its origins date way back to a time dedicated to remembering the dead, including saints, martyrs, and all the faithful departed. Those were some spooky times. Nowadays, it's a fun time of year, but how much do you know about it? Try our quiz to see how much you know about the history of Halloween and the trivia around it. And if you get 10 out of 10, treat yourself. Okay. Lovely. Um, okay. Here's the quiz. Let's start. I'm probably not going to be great at this, but we'll give it a try. Alright, question one. What is Halloween a contraction of? Hal the Ween, Hail the Witch, or All Hallows Eve? Well, this one I do know, actually. It's All Hallows Eve. Correct. Next question. Alright. Uh, what is the day after Halloween called? Halloween, All Saints Day, or another day? <laughs> I like that. Just, it's just another day to me. Um... I've heard of All Saints Day, but I don't know when that is. Halloween just sounds like it could be a nickname for All Saints Day. I'm not sure. I'll go for the middle one. Yeah, that sounded like the most legit, so... What is the custom of children knocking on doors known as? Sweet treat time. Hail the treat time or trick or treat. Hail the treat time. That sounds amazing. We should totally call it that. <laughs> no, it's, it's trick or treat. That one's not too hard. Okay, I'm doing better than I thought I was going to. This is, this is nice. Alright, let's go to the next question. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> question four. What is the ancient Celtic festival that Halloween replaced? Samhain, Halhain, or Calhain? Well, the only one I've heard of is... Eh, let me try that again. The only one I've heard of is Samhain. Uh, s one of my friends mentioned it mentioned that they were celebrating Samhain. So I'm going to assume it's that one. Okay, cool. Oh crap, this is where I'm going to get weak, isn't it? Who starred in a 1978 film Halloween? I haven't seen that. It's from the 70s. That being said, I've watched films from like way back then, but Disney films, that's my strength. <laughs> Alright, who started in, in Halloween? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I'll just go for the last one. Wrong. Damn it. That was my next guess. God damn it. 
Uh, what rapper was born on Halloween? Snoop Dogg, Vanilla Ice, or Jay Z? I think I heard something about Jay Z being born on Halloween, but I'm not sure how true that is. No, it was wrong. Okay, cool. <laughs> now it is lanterns are made from pumpkins. <laughs> from pumpkins. What did people use before pumpkins? Ooh, ooh, I know this one actually. It was turnips. Yeah. Because they looked really weird. Like, carved turnips looked really strange. What old English word does the word witch come from? Witcher or Wiccan? I will assume Wiccan, because that's, like, an actual thing I've heard of. Yes. Who wrote the witches? Ooh, I know this one. It's Roald Dahl. Yay. I, I am a good fan of Roald Dahl, actually. I, I really enjoyed his books. All right. Last question. Who are Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Raymond Stantz, and Dr. Egon Spengler better known as? The Ghostbusters, Pig, and Icons are members of the Adams family. Well, I know it's not Ghostbusters. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. The actually, you know, it might be the Ghostbusters. Huh. Damn it, I actually think it might be. Now, now that I said that, I'm not so sure anymore. They were all doctors, weren't they? Uh, it's not the Adams family. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Adams family, and I don't know anything about pagan icons, so I guess Ghostbusters. Okay, so it actually was. All right, nice. Yeah, I when I said it, I was like, hmm, I'm so sure about this, but then I was like, wait, no, it might it might be. So let's view my results. Eight out of ten. Yay! All right, cool. Let's go take another one. What on earth? I just heard people laughing and beeping horns outside. That was weird. Hmm, strange. You might be hearing a train going past now, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you can hear right now. Uh, anyway, let's find another Halloween quiz. To bore my fans to death with. Yay. Why is it taking so long to load? Strange. Okay, there we go. Google Pixel Book? What's that? Sounds interesting. And not Halloween related at all, but just want to have a look. Out of sheer curiosity. From what now? No, thank you. I want to see it though. Why you no show me? Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, it's taken too long to load, so we'll just go back. Eh, uh, let's see. Okay, Halloween quiz. What other Halloween quizzes should we take? Let's see. When my phone decides to not be a butt and actually load, that would be lovely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do the CBBC quiz, because why not? Have a bit of childhood throwback there. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for probably the last quiz of today? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Are we ready? All right, then. Let's go, then. Have I clicked on it already? Yeah, I have. Okay. I'll just be patient and let my phone load and not die of boredom waiting for it to load. This is awkward. What? What? Thank you. Oh, oh my god. What have they done to the CBBC look? Is that the CBBC logo? That I just saw? What have they done to it? That is... No. No, that is not. Surely not. It can't be. CBBC logo. Oh my god, it actually is. Why would you do that? This is the one that... That green one right there is the one that I grew up with. How could you change it? Why? Well, I think I heard about it changing, but I didn't think it was that. That's just weird. Oh, well, teacher on, I guess. All right. This one looks like a more child-friendly quiz. Uh, a less, more 
educated version, but I mean, I could be wrong, we, we never know. It is news round after all, so trick or treat, are you ready for Halloween? Take this irresistible quiz if you dare. <laughs> Good pun, my friend. Alright, what was the original name for Halloween? Uh, Sam Heng? Yes. Okay. Cool. Some people think the tradition of Halloween started with the Celts hundreds of years ago, who believe that on some hands some ghosts tried to return to their old homes. Okay. Interesting. What do people typically carve at Halloween? Potatoes, wood, or pumpkins? <laughs> yeah, just carve some potatoes for Halloween. That would be so spooky. No, it is pumpkins. Yeah. Pumpkins, or jack-o'-lanterns as they are traditionally known, often have scary faces carved into them to scare away any ghosts or evil spirits. In Ireland, people originally made the lanterns out of turnips. However, when lots of Irish people moved to America in the 1800s, they couldn't find any turnips to carve, so used pumpkins instead. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, my voice broke there much. Okay! Peach got it! <laughs> oh, look at that doggo. What a good doggo that is. <laughs> Okay, what do you traditionally give as a treat for trick or treat? Pumpkins or honey or sweets? Well, pumpkins would be too big. And honey would just go everywhere, so obviously it's sweets. <laughs> Which I knew anyway, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Alright, correct. Some people think tradition. Ch 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 There. Let's try that sentence again. Some people think tradition. Oh my god. Why can't I speak? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just in a giggly mood. Okay, let's try that again. Some people think the tradition of trick or treating began with the Celts. There we go. Who believed that on Samhain, some ghosts tried to return to their old homes? They tried to get the visiting ghosts in a good mood by offering them nice food. Well, yeah, that'd get me in a good mood if I was a ghost. They thought if the ghosts were angry, they would mess up the farms and frighten the animals. However, others believe trick-or-treating comes from a tradition... Tradition? That I can no longer say properly anymore. <laughs> where people would go door-to-door -door asking for food or soul cakes. Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> oh, look at that kitty. Such a good cat -o. Okay, why were people suspicious of black cats during the Middle Ages? They were allergic to them, they thought they were psychic, or they thought they were witches. Well, the m most logical one is the witches one. Yeah. That, that was the one that made the most sense to me. I didn't know that, but it was just an educated guess. Okay, so... Correct, during the Middle Ages, people were very suspicious and didn't really like anything they couldn't explain. <laughs> you could say that about today's society, but yeah. Lots of towns accused women of being witches when any strange events happened. That's very true. Some of those people thought that witches could turn into black cats and get away. Hmm, cool. What fruit is used to play a traditional bobbing game at Halloween? Lemons, apples or oranges? None of them. It's obviously bananas. You always bob for bananas at Halloween. <laughs> no, it's, it's apples. I know that one. I've done that before, actually. It's good fun. Okay, so apple bobbing is a traditional game. Why can't I say that word anymore? It's a traditional game played at Halloween. Apples are put into a bowl of water or a bucket, whatever you prefer, meaning they float to the surface, and players have to try to catch an apple using science, <laughs> using only their mouth. People used to think that being the first to bite into a bobbing apple would mean you would get married first. Oh, okay. That bit I didn't know. I thought it was just a random game. But cool. A spooky pumpkin. Alright, why did people traditionally dress up in costumes on Halloween? To scare their neighbours as a joke, to use up their old clothes, or to hide from ghosts? Again, I'm going to go for an educated guess and say to hide from ghosts. Hey, I am right. During Samhain, hundreds of years ago, people thought that ghosts would try to return to their old homes, which we've said about three times already, but... Repetition, education, all that good stuff. 
Anyway, to avoid being recognised by these ghosts, people would wear masks when they left their homes after dark so that the ghosts would mistake them for other spirits. Very clever. I think that's good disguise. Oh, did I finish it? I think I finished it. Uh. Okay. I finished. I don't know what my score was, though. I don't think I got anything wrong, though, did I? Oh, there we go. Yay! Spooktacular. Six out of six. Beautifully done. Your knowledge of Halloween is terrifyingly good. You must be an absolute wizard at trick-or-treating. Yay! <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty cute thumbnail as well. I, I, I'll decide between the two after I've recorded this. Hmm. Yeah. I'll think about it. But, um... Yeah, okay, so I got a perfect score on that quiz that time. Alright. Lovely. Well, that's those quizzes done then. And to end this video, I'm going to end it in the best way possible. It's it's a way that is so superior that... Why did that happen? Okay, whatever. Searching images on images, whatever. We are going to look at the best thing of Halloween, we're gonna look at black cats, because black cats are the best. Well, all cats are the best. All cats are amazing, but yes. Look at these cuties. Oh, <laughs> look at that one, it's so startled. Oh, bless it. Bless its little soul. Oh, it's so cute. Look at all these cuties. <gasps> That one looks like my cat. Oh, I miss her so much. Rest in peace, Lucky the cat. Oh. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was gonna add a tribute in the end of day six, and I totally forgot to. Well, whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll add two tributes to the end of this video then. A tribute to my great aunt who sadly passed away yesterday. And um, to Lucky, seeing as she just got brought up just now. So we were. Oh my god, look at that cutie! Oh, she's so cute! Oh, whatever it is, it's so cute! Oh. But yeah, basically, I'll, I'll um, add two tributes on the end of this video, and it'll be all good. Oh, these cats are all so beautiful and good. Look at how good they are. That one looks a lot like Lucky as well. Oh, it's so good. Look at all these good cats being so good at existing. They are all beautiful and precious and amazing. Black cats and black and white cats often get overlooked. Read our top ten reasons to adopt a black cat. Yeah, there's a lot of stigma around black cats and it's really sad to be honest like look at these precious babies look at them oh my god that looks like an amazing wallpaper damn it it's stamped oh well it's it's a great picture anyway anyway i am going to leave that there and I'm gonna leave the seven days of Halloween to rest in peace, just like Halloween. So, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think we're all done here. So, anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed these videos. Again, sorry that this one was not very well thought out and prepared, but I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed it just as much as. Talk anymore. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope that you were educated as much as I was. There we go. I can finally speak again. Hooray! <laughs> all right. Well, enough of this shenanigans and all this nonsense and stuff. Let's just leave this be now. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good Halloween. I hope you didn't eat too much sweets and candy and all that good stuff. Because they're good until you eat too much and then you get a tummy ache. 
But for those who are suffering from a tummy ache, get better soon. And yeah, I just hope you really enjoyed the holiday. And if you didn't enjoy the holiday, then I hope it gets better for you. And to those who don't celebrate Halloween or Samhain, whatever you celebrate, I hope you celebrate it with safety and harmony and lots of good fun. So whatever you did this Halloween or whatever you celebrate, I hope it was good for you. But I've had a really great Halloween and now I'm really excited for Christmas. So yeah, that that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. I have some videos coming up soon. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but they're coming soon. So yeah, I will see you then. And until next time, goodbye for now. Happy Halloween Team 9608 and good night. Bye.